All right, what's up guys? Today, I'm gonna show you how I like to do these injector seal kits. I've already done one. Um, so, here's an injector right here. And the first thing that you wanna do is you gotta get that copper piece off of here. On this one here, I'll show you how to do it on this one. So you go ahead and take like a razor knife and just get it behind it. Okay. And then work it around there. And then you should be able to get it to walk on down the end of the injector. Kind of wiggle it back and forth and pull on it. And uh, it'll come off eventually. You can also make this easier by cleaning this first. So the way these go on is there is an indentation on one side and that goes down. You can't see on these because they're so screwed up, so I didn't even bother to show you. But I can show you one of the new ones. You take something like this, clean it up. Yep. And then, um, so if you look here closely, there's an indentation, and then it sticks out on that side. So. The injector we're working on right now is this guy. We've already cleaned the tip of it. And then, so we look for the indentation. I'm going to put it on this way. And I don't really like to go on. So what I'm doing is I use an old injector cup. I set it down here. And I don't know if you guys can see this on the camera, but boom. It's on. So that's how I do that. Okay. Then you want to take something like some Vaseline, get a little bit of it here and there, different parts of the injector, because you're going to have to um, do these ones first because they're the biggest ones, and you don't want to be pulling them over other O-rings that are on here. So, over here is a metal snap ring that goes on first. I can find it. Um, that's the one I removed. These two. Okay. So just take that, just walk it down the injector. Feed it around it like that. And then boom, you got it on there. So then the next one is going to be square one. And if you're not sure, you know, look at your other injectors. Now, this kit came from O'Reilly Auto Parts. And I'll be honest with you, I don't like how thin these ones are. These are dormant. But... Um, some of mine are bad, so there's not like a lot I can do. Now, when you do this, the gasket's probably going to flip around and twist. You want to be real careful about doing that. Like right now, this one's inside out one direction and not the other. And uh, you can damage them if you're not careful. So, we're just trying to get this thing to lay up on here like it's supposed to. You didn't have to fiddle with it for a little while. And then see it just doesn't want to go. Okay. And that's good because you don't want it to be too loose. But 
these to me, I feel like they're a little bit too thin. So you could take like something like this, pick, and stick the bended smooth end in there. Just to walk it down there. Now I'm gonna take your O-ring and get it to go down. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. So now this to me, I, I really just don't like these. I just think they're too thin. But you got to be better than a truck that's got almost 400,000 miles on it. And it's possible that mine have been done before. So now we got the. Um, find it. Where did it go? We're right here. This one here, funny shape. It doesn't appear to matter which way it goes. And you just walk it down it. And this one might be a little bit more difficult. Take two hands and just stretch it, walk it down, stretch it, walk it down. And it's probably going to move on you like it just did to me. Just keep at it. Make sure you got some Vaseline assembly lube or oil or something on here. And now this one, when I did the last one, it felt stretched out for a while. But then when it got to the point where I was ready to install it, it wasn't bad. But you can see it's moving around a little bit. But Got that one on there. So now, we just have the bottom lower fuel one. There we go. So that's how you do that, and um, you can get these, I think they're $19 at O'Reilly's, it does two injectors, I think Napa has them for $16, well, AutoZone has them for $18, I got them from O'Reilly's and made them do a price match. I also ordered a set on Amazon for $19, there was like all eight of them, but they're not going to be here till Thursday, and I want to get my truck done. And I borrowed the injector tool, and I needed to take that back to the shop on Monday, here this Sunday. So, when you do the injector cups, okay, you need to install an injector right away to put the pressure on it. Because you're applying sealant around here and here, and you need that thing to be torqued down. Now, I've had one fail, and I have warranted it out, and it was leaking right here so I made sure to really clean everything real good and put plenty of stuff on it and I wanted to get it in there right away and not screw around so that's why I just ended up buying all the seals from O'Reilly's I don't know what kind of warranty they have but I'm sure that if I got some kind of problem with something from the Amazon ones I'm out of luck so anyways if you got any questions uh, feel free to hit me up and leave a comment down below um, go ahead and uh, subscribe or whatever you want to do if you saw this uh, video and think it's useful share it with somebody else maybe you can help somebody you know I mean the problem today is nobody wants to help nobody they all just want to help themselves so I'm just trying to help give back a little bit to other people and you know show people and maybe you know so some guy doesn't have to take the damn truck into a shop and pay $120 an hour so thanks for watching